Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. 888 Perillo, 888 Call from 1248. This is Chris. Hey, Chris, it's CyberGeek2021 from chat. Get a shorter um, handle. I actually have two questions for you today. Okay. Um, number one, I was wondering, um, I am, like, having a really hard time, uh, installing VMware tools in, um, Ubuntu Linux. Inside of Linux? And, yeah, in a virtual machine. Sure. Uh, I've done it before. Um, you're probably not going to run through a GUI installer. You're going to want to drop to, uh, or through a terminal. You know, either do an SU, and I believe it's VMware-install.pl. All right. It's going to be in the, it, when you download the, or when it, okay, so the way VMware tools works, first of all, we should explain all that. Uh, VMware, virtual machines, they're a sponsor of the broadcast that we do here. You'll see their logos float in somewhere down here. And VMware creates a software called VMware Tools, which if installed in a virtual machine, which is an operating system that runs inside a window on your current operating system, uh, it's a great way of testing Linux distributions or you know, running another version of Windows inside of Windows or OS X or Linux, yada, yada, yada. VMware Tools is designed to help make the usability inside a virtual machine in the integration with a virtual machine in the uh, master operating system or the host operating system of that virtual machine a lot more seamless. So, um, in uh, at least in the, the Windows version of VMware tools, you press a button, it mounts either a CD or a virtual floppy, and uh, then from there you can install, you just double-click the installer. Uh, the Linux one is a little different in the sense that you have to go to the menu, somewhere in your menu where it says inst once inside the, uh, the virtual machine window, install VMware tools. It either mounts as a CD or a virtual CD, or a floppy, I can't remember, it's been a little while, uh, but then... Uh, virtual CD. Does it do a virtual CD? Okay. Uh, so, you should have a file on there, either uh, it's going to be a, a, a zipped up, if you will, and you'll have to unzip it or uh, gun zip it, and the, and if it's got all the files already unzipped, then you should just be able to drop to a command line, just from within, you know, Ubuntu or whatnot, open up a terminal window, and CD to that directory, so you, I think by default, where do you drop into? You drop into your home directory, so CD into yeah. CD space, and then wherever that uh, wherever that directory happens to be, so it's either going to be where in the path of the virtual disk that was mounted, or if you unzipped it onto your desktop, you can go to your desktop and CD in there, and then essentially you run, it, when you're in the directory where all those files are, dot slash vmware-install.pl. Oh, perfect. Thank you, Rat. Um, and that will run the Perl script that's sitting in that directory. And then from there, you, you can go through interactively and press yes, 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 yes. Just keep hitting enter, 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 enter until everything is installed. And, uh, oh, there you go. There's a, there's a link for you, too. But uh, it's not as simple as it might be to just double-click an icon. But, hey, you're running Linux, so it kind of comes with the territory. I've done it a few times okay. before, though, so I do know what to do with it. All right, that was your first question. Second question? Um, my second question is, I am currently, like, paying, like, $70 a month for my AT&T bill on my iPhone. And I was wondering if I should just unlock it and go with T-Mobile or another GSM provider. Well, that's, it's up to you. Uh, the, the, my answer is stick with AT&T. Uh, you know, because that's the whole deal that was arranged between both Apple and AT&T. Uh, if you run into any support issues in the future, uh, you'd be host. So if, if support isn't an issue for you, then, you know, do whatever you want. But I've even told Ponzi I don't want her jailbreaking her iPhone uh, because I don't want something to happen to it, and then we're out, you know, a few hundred dollars. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, $70 is, admittedly, a lot of money. I've paid, you know, that much, if not more, for different phones. Like, the Windows Mobile service, you, you had to pay for a data plan as well. And it was not worth... The, the iPhone, with the data plan and everything, was worth far more at uh, a less 
amount of money than it was on a, another phone with a, a less expensive bill. I think the usability is, is just far greater on the iPhone compared to a lot of other mobile devices that are out there. That's, that's okay. just me. I mean, everybody's got a, a different opinion when it comes to that stuff, but uh, that, it's up to you. I, I wouldn't do it, but I've, I've already mentioned why I'm not going to hack or jailbreak my iPhone or iPods or whatnot. I, I, I just, let, beware. You know the caveats. You know, other people are going to argue otherwise, but it could be a very expensive mistake for you to make. Yeah, I've already jailbroken it, and I love having my jailbroken. I know. I wish I could, too. I just can't bring myself to it. I can't. I just can't. I, I, I just can't. Hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe I should. I, I can't. I'll wait till they update the firmware, and everybody's been programming some uh, things that I can buy or download for free for the iPhone, and, and then I'll feel like I have a jailbroken iPhone, or it'll be just as good. I mean, it's not going to give me probably as much uh, control over the phone, as it would be if I did jailbreak it, but I don't know. To me, can I browse the web? Yes. Can I check email? Yes. Can I call someone? Yes. Can I text message? Yes. Okay, so everything above and beyond that is like bonus for me. That's just me, though. I, I've been buying phones for probably a lot longer than you've been alive. Probably. You're 14? Yeah. Pretty good guess. You know, I used to guess age or weight at Adventureland in Des Moines, Iowa. I did that. I was like one of the, uh, not a carny exactly, but you would come up to me, and I would look at you, and I'd eyeball you, and I could guess your weight within three pounds and your age within one year. Wow, that's good. Well, I just got it from your voice, though. That's all. I couldn't see you, obviously, because you're on a phone. Yeah. So hopefully that helps you. I mean, I know that the second point doesn't really help you as much as hopefully the first one will, but uh, it's all a matter of opinion when it comes to uh, making devices do the things they weren't necessarily designed to do out of the box in terms of a com consumer experience. So w once again, what was your handle in the chat room? CyberGeek2021. Does it, did you say CyberGeek or FiberGeek? C-Y-B-E-R-G-E-E-K-2021. -E -E I figured, well, Fiber Geek is the 81-year-old who hangs out in the chat room. You're Cyber Geek. Gotcha. Okay, we're good. All right.